YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video guys. It's Monday. So if you've been following the channel, you know that on Mondays, I like to bring to you guys some arcade content. Today's video, I just want to go ahead and lead the way to tell you what you can expect from it. We're actually going to be following up on a Tayoto project. Two weeks ago, I filmed some content and showed you guys the three and the four. These are specifically called the Tayoto uh, Type X three and four. They're PC builds pretty much that are designed around an arcade platform. It's kind of ties in with, you know, me owning a Chulix and aspiring to get a Vulix. And ironically, I read some information. I'll have to validate it, validate it um, a little bit more that the Street Fighter VI arcade machine or game is actually going to be running on an X4 platform, which to be honest with you, my desires to get an X4 had nothing to do with me foreseeing the future. But I want to follow up with the prior video, which was part one to this series with me telling you guys that I don't know what's going on with the light, but that, um, you know, I actually wanted to get this thing updated. So I'm going to take you guys on this journey where I'm going to be looking to update the processor, the graphics card, the RAM, cleaning it up a little bit and uh, just, you know, looking into seeing what exactly it's going to take for me to do what they call flash the graphics card to put myself in a position where I can play something called a multi. So we're going to get this going right after the central. All right, guys, so we're gonna take a look at this computer. This is an old classic build. What I've got in here, let me just give you the specs. This is a Asus Z97-AR motherboard. This motherboard is gonna feature Intel's fourth generation technology. Uh, I have an i7 inside of this thing. I've got a 4790K processor. Uh, so it should align up well with what's inside of the Tayoto X4, which is an i5 4590s um, i also have some ddr3 ram in here now i showed you guys on the prior video the motherboard in, in the tayoto type x the specific one that i have in the four has only two dram slots my motherboard here has four obviously but i'm just going to take two of the slots out now i've got a capacity of 32 gigs of ddr3 ram inside of here this is corsair vengeance and i'll actually take it out let me get in my viewfinder so I can show you guys what this RAM looks like. This is some attractive RAM in my opinion, I like it. So it's green, but it's got the uh, black shell there. So I'm gonna take two of these out. These sticks each have uh, a capacity of eight gigs. Um, let's see if you can kind of see that there. Yeah, so two times eight. So we'll have 16 gigs of RAM that we're putting inside of the X4, which right now it has uh, eight gigs of RAM. It has two four gig sticks. now. Is it necessarily needed? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, but you know what? I have the, the resources lying around. And because of such, I'm going to do that. So I'm looking to take the RAM out, add that to this. I'm also going to take the processor. So remove it from under the cooler and put it inside of this. And also we're looking to do this Founders Edition uh, GTX 1070 graphics card, right? So blower style card um, that's going to go in. It's just two slots will offer me uh, three display port connections, one HDMI and a DVI connection. I'll obviously be using the um, HDMI on this thing. So I'm excited for that. Now, I talked to you guys in a previous video about me doing a new cooler. I don't really think that I need that. Um, you know, what I'm gonna do is just clean up the cooler and, you know, just try to utilize what's here. This X3 platform that I have actually has a more quiet fan system than the this four has a more quiet a fan system versus the three um, and so I don't really think that I need to change those things out so I'm going to kind of stick with what I've got here utilizing that so just wanted to take you guys on this journey in all its entirety so there's the part list all right and so we've got this thing stripped completely this PC is pretty much just done for right now I'm going to repurpose this I'm actually planning to reuse this i5 processor i want to test it on this motherboard and make sure that you know it works and uh if it does then i'm going to do a fresh batch of windows and i'm going to plan on using this particular setup for a plex um server because this motherboard has one two three four five six uh one two three four five yeah it's got six it uh, looks like seven uh, SATA ports on it, right? So it puts me in a position where I can get a ton of drives. Um, it actually does have M.2 support. It's not NVMe, obviously. This was 
2014 technology. Um, you know, but I think I can get some great use out of this. And so I, I want to repurpose this uh, in another way. Um, so taking a look right over here into the title, we've got it open. Uh, I'm not going to give you an overview yet. I'll hit you with that in a second. But parts again, we've got that 1070 right there, uh, the RAM, and then we've got that i7, right? So we've got that processor there. Yes, sir. So 4790K. So this CPU got it cleaned off. And I'm really excited just to see how this all is going to play and turn out. It's giving you a look into Taito again. It's got a Founders Edition 960, which is really clean. It's on power supply. And this cooler, like I said, the fan, it turns on and it runs pretty well. Um, I think what I want to do first is just give you a look at what the multi look like uh, before I take this thing apart. And then we'll go ahead and get down and dirty to it. I've got some research that I've got to do within this video. Oh, excuse me. I do got it on tripod. So excuse the shakes, but I'll be right back. OK, guys, so we're in my game room right now. I've got a couple of displays. I've kind of got a dual PC set up. Uh, so I put the tire toe on top of my height h60 case it's a 4090 build that's down there so i like to play games and i like to play them at an extremely high graphical fidelity allow me a moment to just adjust this this tripod down so i can take you guys on this so what i've done is i unplugged my pc uh, by way of power in hdmi and uh the effort here is going to be to get you guys a visual of what the multi is the multi is a drive it's a piece of software that pretty much has like a complete package of you know what you would want to play on an arcade system of of different um types of uh i won't say generations but platforms okay the taito unlike a traditional pc doesn't necessarily have a power reset button um, it does however has a switch and uh, that switch puts you in position where you would be able to turn the system on. Now, this is connected to an LG C2 OLED. Um, you know, depending on who you are watching this content, you may or may not be uh, first with the kind of content that I produce, but I am definitely into the TV space of uh, creating content on YouTube. Um, I regular with buying panels, so I'm very sensitive to, you know, clarity, uh, you know, and um, high frame rate, high frame rates, and things of that sort when I'm buying these panels. So this is the multi, very attractive. Now I have keyboard and mouse connected to it. Uh, I'm gonna see if my Xbox controller. We'll pair it with it. See if we can get a connection just to see if it simplifies things. Now, this technology or this software isn't gonna work perfectly well with this keyboard and mouse setup. And it doesn't look like I can get my Xbox dongle working with it. Um, but this pretty much has like different platforms that you can you can you can play on um the idea behind this is you just you kind of run this with your arcade cabinet and if you've got the proper configuration for controls uh you know it's a front end similarly to like kind of what i've done with my with my um big box build within my chulix cabinet um i'm not sure exactly how i would go about toggling through to get to different systems let me see, I don't know if I just need to scroll all the way over. I'm doing this with a keyboard and mouse. Yeah, and it just it just keeps going on to the X2. So just give me a second to hit some different keys to try to, and I don't wanna play that. Yeah, in any event, um, this is what you get from the multi. Down there's different systems. There's like CPS1, CPS2, there's some shoot 'em ups. Um, there's a nice collection of games that you can play on this. Um, and it's pretty much just plug and play again. Like I said, if you've got the proper uh, arcade control wiring, um, you know, then you can you can enjoy this. It's very nice. And a lot of people 
seem to enjoy just being able to play this. For me, uh, it's lacking a lot. However, I, I wouldn't mind having uh, this drive work for my X4. I just want to get it put in a place where I can do a little bit more. Now, the updated version or iteration of what this drive is uh, looks like it does have the ability to do Fight K. Now, I'm, I'm not sure to what extent, how well it can play it or it can do Fight K, um, you know. And then there's also some technology where it enables you to be able to use like an Xbox controller or a, a traditional arcade stick, if you will, by mapping out the keys. Um, I don't have that set on this particular iteration of the software, but again, just kind of showing you what we're looking to achieve. We're looking to have an arcade piece of equipment, play arcade perfect games, and you know, we're gonna upgrade the, the components to get this done. So let's get to that point. And I was able to figure out how to toggle through these different games. So just hit F2. And it's, it's bringing up these different categories of, of games. Shoot 'em ups, sports. Some utilities, so you got some abilities to be able to go in and, um, you know, change some things around. Um, yeah, so some cool stuff there. Now this 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 absolutely fails in comparison to you know the the setup that I have on on the uh, Chulix. Um, it's definitely more modern, more plug and play. Um, as I said before, I, the only thing that I'm probably gonna do for my Vulix when I do get it is uh, gut the controls. I I really could care less about you know like utilizing this version of this software when. Uh, there's a newer version that will enable me to, you know, be able to play like Fight Cade if that's really possible. I have to research that more and, and then also to load up and, and use whatever kind of controls that I want to use um, because it would put me in a position where I can do more. Now, if the information that I've heard is true in which Street Fighter 6 will actually have an arcade version that will run off the platform of Taito X4, um, great, excellent, just absolutely phenomenal. I don't think the processor that I'm using will be much of an issue for me to play at 1080p. Um, and I do have stronger GPUs that I could use if needed. However, I was able to run uh, Street Fighter 6 on a traditional PC with a 1070 in 4K. Um, granted, I had a newer processor by way of 10th generation. Still, you know, the GPU is going to do most of the leg work with that. And even if I had to compromise with like, you know, just playing at QHD or whatever the options are. Obviously, if it's arcade, it's probably gonna just be 1080p. What I'm saying is it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm really excited for this. I was gonna go to the next transition, but I wanted to kind of stop and show you guys some different options that this thing did have. So if you're interested in this, definitely research it. Okay, so here's a look at some parts that's in this thing. Big fan of the blower style of these cards, man. 960. I remember the 960 came out or the 9 series came out. I was all on the Strix card for the 980. Loved it. It's around when ultra wide gaming was really a big thing. That big predator monitor was really popular. Here's the fan for the cooler. It's a cooler master. Again, last video, I said I was going to change this out, but you know, I really didn't think I needed to invest anything with this. This system isn't going to be doing much. Those games don't really require a lot. Um, this is the bottom side. All these fins generate that heat. This just blows it up. So this is the cooler. It's the piece PC, uh, the processor, real dusty. Some dirt all through this thing. Never been removed, so it's all good. Cool motherboard though. Quite a few SATA drives on there. I'd be interested in knowing exactly what you know, I could implement and put onto this thing. I'm pretty sure there's a way I can go through and probably even just make this a general PC. But obviously this stuff is really old, so it's perfect for what it is. Yeah, so just giving you a good clean look at this board. All right, we're gonna get this cleaned up right now. All right, we got this all cleaned up. Motherboard's nice. 
nice and clean got the cooler looking good all that extra dirt off of that ran it on the water obviously not the cord but yeah get this guy looking nice and good that processor So there's one unfortunate thing and it's going to lead us to conclusion here and it's because I don't have thermal paste. Uh, it's very unfortunate, but it's going to lead way to some more research being able to be done and some more content being shot. So while I had hoped that this would be a two part, um, if you guys seen my video last week, I uh, made some space in my garage, which I'm still working on it, but I purged a large portion of the contents of the garage to make space so i gave away a ton of pc cases and and different various things um i kept a lot of thermal paste around but i have none right now so it's unfortunate for this particular segment of this content but you know hopefully this gives you something to look forward to seeing in the future next week monday we will be right back getting back to it and uh i'll probably make some content not arcade related about this because this 960 is actually going to get used as well as this i5 inside of my uh plex server i am definitely going to utilize those pieces man um i checked my server and i've got a 660 inside of it it has some issues um managing like 4k files this should do a lot better job a much better job um, I didn't want to have to put like a 2060 in there, but again, that's that's other content. Next week, we'll get back to the title. I'm going to dedicate next week for this so that we can get this stuff put together, run some tests. This will give me time to do some research, though, on flashing. Um, and so although I can't test doing that, I'll have more understanding going into it so that the video will be more refined. So thanks a lot for you guys tuning in to this week's Arcade Upload. We're going to catch you on the next week. Peace. God bless and as always say, max love.